sure we'll find out. <clears throat> I will give Jeff a minute. <laughs> Of course we do. Uh, all right, we're going to call to order. Um, this is the Village of Pittsburgh Historic Preservation Board. Uh, my name is Daniel Olson. I'm sub-chairing for uh, Jeff Pollack, who is absent today. Uh, this is the Historic Preservation Excuse me, Historic Preservation Board, regular meeting for Thursday, May 16th uh, at 5.30 p.m. Uh, do we have any reason for anybody to recuse themselves from any of the agenda? I'm to open the meeting first. First? Yes. Okay. Yes. A motion to open the meeting? I'll second. Thank you. Member Excuse me? Where do you get the agendas? They're on the table, like when oh. you walk in. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. Next to the COVID test. Okay. Oh. Member Olson? Oh. Yes, please. Yes. Thank you. Member Sarah? Yes. Member Torres? Yes. Member Dabrowski? Aye. Motion passes. Okay, so before we start, does anyone have any reason to recuse themselves for any of the items on the agenda? I do not. I do not. No. Okay. And we'll start with the first item on the agenda is 34 Church Street. So you guys want to come up? Let's get these chairs out in front for you guys. Hold on as close to the speaker as we can. Oh, yeah. Like right in this yeah. <laughs> and um, before we get started, just so this applies to all applicants, we do not have a full board tonight. You are you have the right to a full board, at least in terms of votes. So if you after you know reviewing your application, if you want to table it so we have a full, full board, that is well within your right. Thank you. Are you able to vote without a full board? We are, uh, yeah. But if we you feel like board. it's not in your favor, okay. So. Can you send that after the vote? Yeah. <laughs> no. Thanks for yeah. Thanks for yes. Um, so you see in front of you uh, the application that we put forth for an addition to our home, um, which is absorbing the deck, the existing deck. Um, we have uh, applied and been approved for a zoning uh, board approval for some additional space um, that would extend our kitchen area, absorb the deck, um, and everything matches existing. We are going to use one of the windows um, as part of the addition, an existing window as part of the addition, and then the other side of the windows facing. Um, Chase Bank parking lot is the same size as an existing window in the house. So really it's an extension. It creates more living space for us as a family and protects us from some, um, just from the viewpoint of the bank into our home. Yeah. So it's, uh, that's the proposal. And the variance also kind of clean, cleans up sort of a hanging, I don't know how you, a cantilever, I don't know how you call the piece of space that's basically just hanging in the air right now. Cantilever. So if you look at the front of our house, it's almost like an unfinished foundation. There's a portion of the house that's just kind of hanging there, and it makes the front a little jagged. So part of the idea of the addition was actually just squaring off the front of the, mm -hmm. kind of clean, cleaning up a little bit, as well as the other benefits of the bank and the extra space. Questions? I, I want to just get caught up on the where part of the house is hanging. <laughs> oh, it's kind of funny to see. So if you look can from you see a, it on this photograph. Um, yeah, uh, actually, yes, you can. It's just very dark. Um, so it's it's actually this portion. So see how there's a there's a corner here. Yes. Um, so it's it's right under underneath here. This is basically just okay. op open air, okay. basically underneath that. And you're gonna put a bonafide foundation under there. Yeah, because the foundation is going to come out. Um, so well, something still has to collect. Ah, here we go. Wall, so the, actually, I had this upside down. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't sleep last night. <laughs> I, 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 came, so I came home nervous. on a red eye. So yeah, oh, I was so nervous. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, no, yeah, not for this, not for this. I just, I would have slept, I think, but I just couldn't. Um, so if you look at this square here, and I think yeah, if you can. Here, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That square, that square well, is open square. air. So the foundation only follows along here, and then it comes here. So the foundation currently doesn't even extend the whole length of the deck. That right. side of the deck this? is. I'm, yep. I'm thinking maybe this little square right here, is that where it is? That is, yeah, that's exactly Hanging, right. but the rest of it has foundation? Yes, yep, the there's a foundation main, out the here. The kitchen there? Good. Yeah, exactly. So well, the foundation... Well, get a foundation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that would be nice. The, so the foundation is proposed actually going to be, a, you know, right. square, square everything right. off. Right. It's coming off of this new Correct. dining room corner. Correct. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. Uh, I had a question or two about. Sorry, two more pieces of paper. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, about window sizes. Yes. So it's on the. I'm sorry. Yes. It's on the rear of the house. Mm -hmm. Steve, the rear of this house is visible. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, I recognize this is your lounge. AKA TV room or something, right? Yes. These windows being high, mm -hmm. I, I can understand um, why you want them. And there's a fence. So the fence actually comes up almost to the height of those windows. So there, there's actually a, obviously the view is taking it all the way to the ground, but this is actually, because it's a parking lot, there's a nine foot tall fence. That well, actually, but the, the fence might come down sometime and the mm -hmm. windows are still going to be there. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. A fence is okay, and I understand that, but I guess I would, I think a more rectilinear rather than square window here would be more appropriate in my opinion, uh, longer than it is tall is our, now, is, now yes. this is existing. So this is the only existing uh, square window. With no, the there's, there's two other ones on yeah, the other, on the side, other side of the house. house, on the left elevation. Well, right here. Yeah, okay. And then, I mean, well, and then the ones on the bottom too. That are, well, yeah. I mean, it's the back of the road. you want privacy there, yes. though, right? Yeah, yeah. and so that's where close it is. To the road if you don't want it's not close to the road, it's close to the Chase yeah, Bank parking lot, right. and people can actually see into our home and have commented, oh, I saw you cooking dinner last night. Well, you have natural light to come in, but. And if I can find you out there, again, the existing window is pretty much the same same dimensions as on the other side. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nobody asked me when these went in, so. Yeah, so you've got those high windows like that on purpose. Basically. Yeah, and what we what and we intentionally the one on the other side too. did yeah, was that we measured, mm -hmm. and what we'd like is you know the same size. It's just around the corner from yeah. that mm -hmm. is a square window, so we did two square sure. on each yeah. mm -hmm. kind of side of the house, but to keep the yeah. you know, privacy in mind. All right, I understand that issue. Mm -hmm. Have you been before this board before? A couple of times. Uh, the, the porch. Yes, I did. I remember yeah. the porch. Yeah. Yes, you came over. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, everyone came to the front. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. We made a field trip. Yeah. <laughs> visit. Site visit. Yeah. All right. Well, I, despite my feelings about design, I understand the need for privacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> And it is the rear of the house. I know it's under, you, could, you can see it, but it is in a, the quieter part of the view shed of the house right. for windows of that style. Right. Mm -hmm. Is there any questions? Uh, do we have all the materials yeah, we're, we're, that to match we're, existing we're, colors and materials? Mm -hmm. And the new, I'm sorry, does it say in your application? Uh, what material the new windows will be? They will all match existing. So we've been in touch with Pella windows. Those are the call yeah. sheets for Pella okay. windows. Yeah, they're all and, and the existing are, wood, are Pella wood windows? Wood okay. windows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And we will reuse one existing window, which is what we're doing. Thank you for reusing. Yeah. Thank you for actually having someone come and inspect them. Yeah. Yeah. 
So how, how we, we got to talk about that as far as the bay windows too. How do you guys want to go about that? Do you want that to be um, part of the entire approval? Should that be separate? Because the recommendation was pretty much to leave them alone. To restore the windows. Yeah, mm -hmm. and not to replace them. So how should we move forward with that? I actually interpreted his email just differently. That okay. He said that they you know, could understand the consideration with the age of them um, to include in the project. Yeah. I don't want to hold up this in favor of that. So, uh, so I, I don't know. Maybe there was an interpretation that I didn't understand, but... Well, at the very end. Yeah. Blake does say since this bay is a part of previous addition of a previous addition to the home, there is a little obfuscation of the original character of the home in upgrading the bay windows. Also, it's been altered significantly from mm -hmm. its Yeah, from what I understand the there original. was a fire and part of the fire managing the fire they blew out the window. That, right. that right. one was not blown out for whatever reason. Um, Probably the fire was in another yeah. location in the house. Yeah. But he says it would benefit the overall cohesion of the design to replace these windows with units of the same mm -hmm. manufacturing type. Right? I think yeah, that was the part that we were. Yeah. 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 I, I that, yeah. yeah. That that usually, out. because we weren't expecting. Yeah. And usually yeah. they are very. This one is definitely a little bit more gray, mm -hmm. as far as the bay windows is as Blake's recommendation. Yeah. So that's what I want to ask you guys about how you want to encompass everything. So what we did not, uh, we didn't bring the fault or the like spec sheet for those. I don't. We were assuming that they would be the same. Thing. You're replacing okay. them in kind, right? You're not yeah. changing the configuration. You're just no, it would be the internal window part. Well, uh, I'm not totally educated on this. Yeah. Up, like making sure that they are. More modern. Modern when I say is the like new. The, yeah, new. New, but new to match existing. To match yeah. existing yeah. And maybe how they open. So like, could you find those exact windows sizes and patterns in the um, windows that you presented for the addition of that make and model from Pella? Potentially. Uh, potentially. We have to do yeah. that research. But we we came in thinking this would be a separate like so we're not I I think. The bottom line is we're probably not going for the approval of the bay window changes as part of this. But we'll come back. We, we may have okay. to come back because we we also don't have the sheets or we haven't looked with okay. Paula on what those were. Okay. But is there a way to approve it if we if they wanted to? Just to save some time, I, because I mean the thing that would require approval is if you plan to change like the mullions and you plan to change the design completely. No, we like, love the, the design of the window. And we love all of yeah, that. Right. It's just yeah. to be a new window. You're just replacing the, the interior part of the window with windows that look just like that, mm -hmm. but are double painted and new. Oh, I see. Exactly. Okay. Is it, is it, I'm asking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We, we, were looking to, we weren't looking to change the design. We were looking for were more um, energy be kind of like better just yeah. better windows Hard. same design yeah um, so when we were talking with him about it when he was saying yeah, I can fix this or fix that again it was a it was nice but a nice surprise that he said oh yeah it would actually be cohesive because you're getting new Pella windows that are kind of matching the design already you could get three more that would match the design across this bay window yeah I guess what we're asking is should we be framing our approval in a way that allows that yeah. without you having to come back to us or would you yeah. prefer to submit another application at a future date when you do know what you want? If it's possible yes. to do the, the first, yeah. that would be preferable. If it's forever. possible to save time, absolutely. And if you probably want to order them all. Yeah, I was going to say order them the most <laughs> beneficial. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Tenille ramp has the front door where State Street is now located. Have you, have you ever I've seen this document? No. Oh, I see. Yeah, I can't believe I have seen no, it, but I don't know what you may have it. it. It says that the house is... Oh, yes, you know, I did know this. Yes, okay. The canal ran past the front door where State Street is now located. Yes. Wow. If you'd like to have this for additional information. We have an electronic version of that. Yeah. I I'm kind of doubt it. What are you looking at? No, you can get those on the bill. You can get the blue sheets. Like yeah, but on certain homes, they have these ones too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. On the website. 
This, um, and this is a total aside. This is dated uh, June 1967, and it says that um, the clabbered yes. it is now covered with asbestos shingles. Is that No, is but that then the there case? was another, it may be no, the green no. sheet, where it was, there's cedar shingles now. Okay. So again, matching existing cedar shingles. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I'm just hoping that you don't have a specific okay. sighting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I mean, it does. It looks, it looks a lot like, you know, concrete asbestos potentially, but yeah, th yeah. those are some pretty big cedar. You had, we had someone once when we were looking again, because like any house in Village, you know, it's got some drafts to it. And we had someone come to a very quick um, energy assessment from the outside and looking, and one of the things they were looking for was what's underneath these cedar shingles to check mm -hmm. for that. And mm -hmm. I had a moment of, you know, what is under there? And then they were like, oh no, this is this is good. This is just like see the shingles. I, I mean, they only were doing that on a couple parts of the house, so I can't. Yeah. It was any, wasn't yeah. any kind of like official assessment, but I remember them considering that. I recall my home inspector. He's like, well, are you planning on getting your siding? No. Well, it is or it isn't. It's mm -hmm. just there. Right. Yeah. yeah. This so this was may, kind of a, this was considering. Into, <clears throat> you may run into an issue if you do have it in the back when they have to rip it off. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Well, they, you would have to have it. Then that would be that would be an abatement project. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay. So. No. Are you saying no? No, they don't. If, no, they if, don't. If, what? If if that they have to specify and they have a right as a homeowner to remove and dispose of it themselves, you do not have to have a special. If if they take it off personally themselves, right. Steve, I'm very familiar with this. Yeah. Yeah. If they take it off themselves, that's one thing. But yeah. if the contractor you is be there, able to hire somebody. it's an abatement yeah. contract. Right. Yeah. You have exactly. to have an abatement specialty yeah. abatement. Right. We're going down the road. Yeah. 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 I'll make a motion to approve. I have a question. Do we want to waive uh, a window application fee? Because if they come and apply for windows again, this is all part of the same. Yeah, this is all part of the same. Yeah, part of the same yeah. We're going to approve it as one, as and right. we're going to do it. Yeah. To so I'll make a motion to approve this as presented. I'll second. Member Torres. Yes. Member Dubrovsky. Yes. Member Saro. Yes. Member Olson. Yes. Motion passes. Can I just say, do we want to put a condition on the yes um, yeah. on the making material? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and well, on the design of the bay. That's yeah, it's just a replacement of the similar size windows in the design, and that doesn't change. Oh. Yeah. So we'll do findings of facts, and we'll say that um, we've approved this uh, application as presented in, in full um, for the addition at 34 Church Street. Um, with the approval of replacement windows um, as suggested by Blake Held um, with the existing material being matched, the existing design being matched, including window patterns, um, mullion size, mountains, and then I want to work in While you're looking, I would also include in the findings the fact that uh, this home was constructed about 1820. However, since that time, uh, modifications to windows and sidings have already been made. And that those bay windows, I believe, I believe that they're lifestyle double hung without HGP classic white. Does that sound familiar? As far as the make and model? That's what Pella said. Maybe they're not double hung. Oh yeah, they would be double hung. Yeah. Double hung. Because double yeah. hung is what they have there, yeah. the ones that go up and down. Yeah, yeah, they are double hung. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they both slide. Yeah. That, was, that was really in the nature of the amendment and the approval of So I would say somebody ought to second that motion. Second the motion. No. In other words, we're voting on the Those specifics of yep. what you just said. Nice. 
Okay, so we're done. I think we can do roll. Okay, we'll do it. Okay, I'll take a roll call on the amendment. Part of it, please. Member Zero? Yes. Member Torres? Aye. Member Dabrowski? Yes. Member Olson? Yes. Motion passed. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck. Have fun. Thank just you. Clearing out your kitchen. Have fun. No, no we're just chatting. <laughs> just yeah. Yes. Yeah. For shoes. All right. Next, we'll do uh, one Gaskin place. <laughs> I step out of here. Is the applicant here? Is one Gaskin place here? Anderson's. I. I know the clerk, I don't see that. Okay, we'll go to uh, 25 Eastview Terrace. How you doing? Good, how are you? Let's go out here. Hi. So tell us about uh, your application and what you're looking to do. Uh, our house was built in 1940, and in the 90s, uh, the previous homeowner put on an addition. And the bulk of the project is removing that addition. Um, we're going to separate the new addition from the original house with a 10 foot connector, single story connector. And then build a one and a half story addition uh, next to it. Okay. Uh, the other, there's also a screen porch off of that addition in the back. And then we're putting in a new uh, storm window on the front side of the house. Okay. So I think the main thing to talk about here is, is approval of the demolition first. Okay. So how, how would we, how would this board go about that? Do we need to make a motion to approve a demolition before since we can? They the, since they have their plans ready for what is to go in place as well, doesn't make sense really. Um, I think it, I, I think that you'll actually analyze the demolition on its own. Okay. And then if you decide that it can be demolished, you'll make it subject to approval of whatever is going to be place. Okay. That's a so have you considered other options for not demolishing that addition or is there anything that you guys have thought of as the homeowner and architect that you could work into not demolishing it because that's a tough ask for our board as as far as this village and obviously demolishing Serving. anything yeah is, is a big ask right um, I mean we did consider other options trying to reconfigure the space but mm. ultimately decided both um, from the interior plan as well as the exterior how it would look uh, that removing the addition would be the best way to go okay uh, so I mean, we're literally taking it back to the original footprint of the 1940s house and then redoing the added on okay and there's there's not an option to use the addition from 1991 which is you know 30 years old now and part of the house and leave that and then create an addition off of that or a, a floor plan off of that uh, we'll add to it. yeah i mean we use, we explored a number of different ideas but ultimately decided that um, what would work best for us was to remove what's existing okay yeah, the addition is kind of glommed on to the house in a you know, way that doesn't follow historic preservation uh, guidelines. So in two places, it's one off the north, one off the back side, and one off the side where we're adding on. Now. So they, um, they, it was done very poorly in, in massing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't um, have a picture in my mind of what it looks like now but I I see what you're trying to do here is is change because right right now it's like very massive and not like 1940s architecture we're trying to separate that out you know we're trying to use the technique of creating an addition that is obviously an addition by using a, a connector technique 
And, um, and there's also the piece on the back, which um, is compromises a beautiful big bump out window off the dining room because it's hanging right off the side of that. Um, so I think there are there existing pictures in the packet. Mm -hmm. You know, I have you got this roof pitch correct? I'm looking at this photo here. This it could be the photography. This this roof looks much steeper than what's being portrayed here. Well, um, this is the, we had we had the fortunate uh, aspect of having the original blueprints, which I'm happy to pull out. Yeah, that's great. Um, so we matched the pitch exactly to. Okay. The construction documents from 1940. Um, they're beautiful drawings. I'd be happy to share them with you guys. But um, it's uh, so I think it's a perspective thing from the photograph okay. that you're seeing. You know, I'm 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 sorry. I'm going to make a comment about your drawings. The the views are not labeled. I don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah, it was a little. It was and, a little confusing to understand what side of the house, what's existing, and what's what's yeah, not. Yeah, there's, there's no indication. There's no clear indication. This is existing. This is addition. This doesn't say front elevation or anything. I'm I'm shuffling through all these drawings and I don't know what I'm looking at. And, and just as a point of clarification, your driveway, just because that's a good like reference point, how to yeah. reference all of your drawings. The driveway splits into a Y, the right side goes to an existing garage, Correct. and then the left side currently is just kind of more of a, like a dead end, is that is that what we're looking yeah. at here? parking pad. Okay, parking pad, and then you're going, that's where the addition would be, to that that's side? That's where the okay. existing addition is, that's where the new addition would be. Okay. Wow. So like this, this is existing? Yes. And then this is over here is proposed addition? Right. Okay. And it, that um, single story connector is also the proposed addition. So if you take off that 10, 10 foot connector and what's to the side of it, that's all new. Everything okay. else is how the house originally existed. I'm sorry, are there, do you have any existing condition drawings in the packet, sir? I think we did submit that. Let me see. I'm trying to keep them organized. It's impossible. Yeah, the double side of those. Well, is, is this, this existing right now? This, this is the addition? Uh, no. Okay, and, um, and there, there, the existing addition is sort of here. What is, um, what is the intent? What are you trying to show with these orange boxes? I think that's what is going to be removed. Uh, okay. I mean, some of this was part of a back and forth with Steve to explain what was going on, but. Uh, well, a, a, yeah, so if you a, come a up, this is, yeah. showing a, yeah. this is a the east elevation. Of existing if you come up, demolition, demolition would be helpful. Yeah, I you believe that was submitted. You didn't draw them. Yeah. yeah. Do I? Okay. I'm looking for a sheet that says existing conditions. This one. Yeah, I think the only thing that we have is this one. Actually, no, that's for, that's uh, additional. The package was sent to the, to the village for the planning board. I guess it's going to be sent to the historic preservation board. Um, yeah, they were connected, including additions that you sent. I'm just going to pull it up on the website because okay. everyone's pages are in a row to see if maybe we're missing something. And you can look at what we have on and see if we can wrap them on the right. Okay. 
Does the survey map show accurately the existing? Yes. Right. Okay. So this is exa this is exactly what it looks like right okay. now. That's, yes. Yep. This is from when we bought the house. Okay. This I submitted originally before. When did you guys buy the house? Mm -hmm. uh, in 2018. Okay. Nice. So you draw a line right here. So this is where That's the original house. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they stuck this on, which is like a vaulted ceiling, story and a half. Um, this family room, the and then this is a powder room and a pantry that yeah. sticks out in the back. It's the same thing. Uh -huh. I took what I put and then this is a porch. That's a patio yeah. porch. Yeah. yeah. So but there's, we there's would remove more. I mean, they have all of that, so and then this, essentially put this, this going back to the original. So mm -hmm. as Chuck, my architect, pointed out, there's a bay window here for the dining room that'll be restored. And then this will all line up here, and then the screen board will come off the screen. Okay. This one shows well, I, personally, I have a I have a hard time considering demolition if I don't have a when when the proposal is to build something new. When I have concerns with what's being proposed for the new, and I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but that's. How I feel about it. Yeah, no, this is it's it's been a tough packet to review accurately for something of this size. Um, I think we have to consider demolition, de approving the demolition first too. Yeah, getting this page of having both the existing and the proposed. Mm. Are you able to print that real quick? Yeah, I mean it's in your packet. It's from the website, oh. so. But I can. Is it? I don't think it's in our packet. Yeah, I think it is. But it's in the back of Jenny, you just had it. On the back of this? Oh, yeah. Yes, on the back of this. But again, there's no. Oh. No, it doesn't there's, have. There's, it just has there's, to compose. Yes, there's no existing and, and proposed, and there's not a clear indication of what's sure. new. And what's I new. think let's go back to uh, 34 Church that we just approved and kind of explain what what is helpful in, in our. So this is this this is a right side existing and a right side proposed for us to. Like that's that is that's kind of what we're looking Comparison for. And there's not a lot of existing information to understand what you're really changing and what we're really approving for demolition and then for reconstruction on, on what's new. So you should come back. So do I hear remember Cyril um, yeah. Suggests she had difficulties with what was being proposed. Yes. Yes, I did. Then, then if that's true with anyone else, maybe we turn this into a, for information only and suggest what mm -hmm. might be and, and a, the whole approach. A clear, better labeled well, yeah, I set of set of plans. I understand that part, but I'm wondering if we have a problem with the proposed design. Yes, I do. I, think I, I don't. I, I don't have a problem with the proposed design, but I guess I want to see what it is that they're tearing down. Right. right. But I, what, what, I'm, what I'm suggesting is that uh, if there's a majority of the board that has a problem with the design, then you can turn this into a information for information only yeah. and discuss the design difficulties if there, if there are, if there are not for you, I understand. Well, I'll, then I will, in that case, I will voice my objections, and if anyone agrees, right. fine. If nobody else yes. agrees, Fine. I I have I have concerns about the massing of this. I know and understand and have used myself a link to separate existing from new. That's a, a well known, often used preservation technique to clearly distinguish what's historic and what is new. What I am what I have an objection to is that an addition to an existing historic structure should be um, 
not smaller than, but subservient to in a way. Subservient is not the right the right Almost word. Almost like for a, an accent to it, but but not yes. equal. Yes. The the roof is, in my opinion, the roof line is too high. I would definitely like to see the pitch of the roof uh, continue from existing to new. But it's very high. It's it's a massing issue for me. Mm -hmm. This is this is not uh, subservient to. Let me get. Let me just pull out the our guidelines, which are quite yeah, eloquent. Let's see. Page. Yeah, they have bookmarks there already. So we the editions. Thirty-four. We have multiple editions tonight. Yep. Thank you. These guidelines are available online also, gentlemen. I'm trying not to read the whole, the whole mm -hmm. section to you, but I will. Uh, design considerations for additions. Large visible additions to existing historic homes should be compatible with the character of the existing building and should reflect the area in which it was built. I agree this does. It should not recreate the past or give a mistaken impression of false antiquity. Additions should not be so large that they change the or orientation, general massing, or scale of the original building. So because you have the link, that's taken care of too. Locate additions to historic, historic buildings as inconspicuously as possible, usually to the rear or least public side of, the, of a building. That's not what's happening here, but that's... That is actually what's happening. I think part of the problem is you're looking at it in two dimensions, where <coughs> the part of the house is in front, and the part we're adding is literally in the farthest, most inconspicuous part of the lot. But looking at the elevation drawing, that addition is still very high and very large. It's... I'm not going to... Guess at how large it is. Well, it's, mean, it it's more. The it's more height. than. It's the same height as the house. It looks like it's designed to be the same height as the I, house. I know, but that's that's, and that's, what that's I'm objecting to. That's what I'm objecting to, as well as the fact that the addition is a little. It, it's hard to tell. At, at least half the size of the of this adjacent elevation. I just think the addition is too high. I'm not. I. I guess I could see the width here, but it's too high. I recognize you're putting a guest bedroom up there, right? No. What's going up there? Playroom. Okay. I, I, I think it's, it's still my opinion that it is too high. To meeting, I would recommend a field trip because I don't think you can appreciate the house in two dimensions. Yeah, and we want to we want to work with you to give you what you want. And too. really, what we're putting in there is <clears throat> not that much bigger than what exists. Yeah. Um, for me, it's it's tough to look at this and understand where this is. Yeah, that, that that's right. that's what Clearly personally I'm looking for is is that. understanding what we're looking at better. Right. And like this is most likely the front of the house, which which is unchanged. Uh, well, there's that new dormer window. Oh, the new dormer. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Unchanged. yeah. Okay. So why don't we make a motion to table this to next meeting with better definitions of. Of elevations with with existing elevations of all four sides, and then labeled, uh, the labeled and then proposed elevations next to them on all four sides. I, I, I would just also like to say that I, I personally, I would prefer to know more about what you explored in terms of before we even agreed to a demolition. Um, right. You know, several months ago, as an example, uh, a, a family came in. They wanted to add to their garage. You know, they weren't going to tear it down and just build the whole thing up. They were going to add to the top of it. We agreed to an addition because after inspection, 
the, the bones of it weren't sufficient to add to it, which was a, a valid reason to demolish it, rather than just preference of design, I, I want to know what we're looking at in terms of other options before we go and agree to demolish what it is. Yeah, I agree. And, and it's possible if you have the, the as-is pictures, you can describe, you know, that it's an awkward, you know, configuration of rooms, you know, which makes it, you know, that you can't change or something. But if without being able to see what so, the as is. Some is. evidence for why the existing yeah. structure that was added in the 90s is not 1940s historic mm -hmm. is. Not even just why it's not 1940s historic, but just like. No, why it is it why we, now? Why it we feel we bought yeah. the house and feel, still feel today that the addition they did in the 90s is not nice. It's not becoming of the house. It detracts from the house instead of adding to it. Uh, I mean, yeah. we can present evidence yeah. to that extent. Uh, I also have a question about, I mean, obviously you have to submit everything weeks before the meeting. Um, is it typical that you don't get any feedback on what you've submitted until the meeting itself? Like, yes. Yeah. Even yeah. label, this isn't clear, all of that stuff. Is, this yeah. is more like a working meeting mm -hmm. than a, we've reviewed everything, we understand it, and now we're going to talk to you about it. Right. It, yeah, it, it is typical that some folks will come in prior to submitting an application for information to have guidance prior to submitting their application. Okay. Especially yeah, I, for I a, big, thought, a big project. Right. I thought all the back and forth with Steve was that guidance. Yeah. Uh, but I guess that's to a degree. Misled, or, Misunderstood. Yeah, this, this board is the one that does the architectural approval. Uh, and without having a meeting, there's no way for them to work better like they are now. And they have, they have to have that meeting publicly. Yeah. So, okay. you know, and just for a public record, um, on all meetings, we have um, what do we call it? We have open discussion or uh, from information only where this is what we would do is, and what Jeff said, we turn this into an information only, is talk about um, what you would want out of an addition or what you're able to do, or um, maybe some guidance from the board before you went into an official meeting for an approval. Um, so it just is like you know, a meeting before that without a, a vote of approval or not, but just more of a, for information. Um, All right, so that submitting everything ahead of time is not because you guys meet and actually look at this stuff before. No, it's so no, Alexandra can get it in the past and the album before so much time. Just to check it for Thank you. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be nice. So yeah, it's figured out. Okay. obviously this board, what we want to do is is get you to your addition and make, but we just need to make sure it, it meets all of our guidelines and it, it's, what you want, but also what the village allows. So the allows we, wants. No, no allows. It's not a want by the village. Okay. It's there, a there's guidelines, guidelines that have been agreed. That yeah. So like the height of the De Demolishing an existing structure is, is a big thing. I mean, it's, you know, otherwise people would be just like, yeah, I just want to knock down this house, right? So yeah. that's that's a big step to take. There, there are guidelines. There are official yeah. guidelines that have been adopted by the board. They're available easily yeah. online if you want to read what they say about a section about demolition additions and demolition and windows and siding yeah. and all those things, including sections uh, on age of the buildings when they were built, so yeah. that you have some guidelines through that. Uh, I'm is there any point? It, it, from what we've gathered, I, I imagine that you'd like us to table it. Is that factual? As opposed to vote on it? Yeah, we'll table it. Well, like I mean, it doesn't seem like you guys even <laughs> I can't make that decision for project, you. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I'm not sure anybody's at this point Wait willing to, to make it. Well, and that's not our decision. Yeah. Well, no, no, but it's it, your decision. Well, yeah. I do I don't have think a motion I'm, to defer by Member Olson right now. Yeah. And I second, did I second it? I didn't no hear a second, second it, yeah. Okay. Second. <clears throat> Member Zero? Yes. Member Olson? Yes. Member Torres? Yes. Member Dabrowski? Yes. Motion passes. 
Is there any reason to schedule a site visit with the applicant? I would. I went I today like and, and I drove up the street and it's a beautiful house, really nice property. Did you see how the addition it is? is? Yes, yeah, it's, it's tough definitely tough to see. It's in the back side. Yep. Yeah. I went. I, I don't need to go on a field trip if you guys want okay. to. No, I just wanted to give the, the applicant an opportunity yeah. to speak to the board at the site. Oh, I mean, if I would, you, I would, if I would do that. I'd okay. love to meet you guys out there because I really don't think that the two dimensional east elevation gives you a good feel for the massing of the house. Okay. I think in the case of the demolition, the board ought to go extra steps. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When do we plan it? Do we plan it between now and the next meeting? Do we plan it on the day of the next meeting and meet there like we did when we went to the bank and we met on the same day? Whatever you want. I, um, it I seems think to me that, that I'm sorry, Jenny. I was just going to say, I think going before the next meeting so that any input. Right, but that was my question. We before have, the meeting or on the day of the meeting? Like no, I mean before the, before the meeting okay. so that the, the applicant and his architect can respond if that's appropriate. All right, so the next meeting is June 17th, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the soonest I'm thinking is uh, June 4th, June 6th. That's a Tuesday or a Thursday. Um, or a reporting secretary I, will be available. I could theoretically make the fourth work. Oops, Tuesday the fourth. Uh, I don't believe we've had the recording secretary attend our site for since um, the past. It's a it it's four hours. Yeah, yeah, it has to be. Okay. Yeah. Well, because the house we all that, all, all that has to happen is that somebody keep minutes of what's going on. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily have to be the board secretary, and if there's any vote or anything of the sort, then you just record it. Um, and I, I don't. I think we've done site visits before without the recording. Oh, I, I, the oh, no. the couple that was here already, I said I've seen this house. Oh the yeah, we've been to the, <laughs> we've been there, and no one was there. If I'm us. off duty, I don't mind. If someone else wants okay. to take notes, but we can. Set the motion. Steve has a question. Yep. Yeah. Steve. If there's more than two members at once, doesn't it have to be public notice? Sure. Yeah. 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 It has to be public notice, but we don't need to have the secretary to the board. All right. So June 4th. Is a Tuesday? June 4th is a Tuesday. What time, um, Mr. Vitek, are you usually? Uh, <coughs> I could do any time. Do you guys want to do? I can't do anything between 1 and 4. Uh, five o'clock. Yeah, five. I can yeah, five, definitely after a work house. It's five thirty. We'll keep it. Yeah, five thirty. Okay. Does that work for you guys? Yep. Yeah. Okay. East View Terrace, right? Yes, twenty-five East View Terrace South. What? Five thirty. We agreed. Tuesday, June 4th at 5.30. All right. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Appreciate your willingness to work with us. Absolutely. Sure. Perfect. Have a good evening. As to you guys. All right. We'll do uh, 59 State Street, the retaining wall. Yeah, I brought a couple full-size boards. Um, they're gone. So is there a preference by the board members as to whether I lay them out on an area of the table or uh, leave them in front of me? This is the recording device, so yeah, yeah. can put it in this little corner? Sure. Sure does look like you need a new retaining wall. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I uh, just want to introduce myself. Hello, uh, my name is Sonny Sincara. I'm the pro uh, senior project manager uh, from Mahar Engineer and representing the project applicant, Mary Hickman, who's here with us tonight for the project at 59 State Street. Uh, as you were alluding to, uh, ultimately right adjacent to the Erie Canal Trail uh, on the State Street side is a retaining wall on site that falls within the Canal Corp property. You can see the uh, property line um, represented by that dash line there. So there's a portion of some rear property improvements that also fall within the Canal Corp property. Um, I'm sorry, could you indicate the dash line for the Canal Corporation property again? I yes, so this blue line of record, as it's called out, 
clips, a portion of the frame garage, shed oh, behind yeah. it, yeah, yeah. a portion of patio improvements back here, and mm -hmm. the entirety of the uh, existing yeah. retaining wall. Uh, there is an existing use and occupancy permit between the property owner and Canal Corp for those structures. Um, it's mainly the structure that's about three or four feet. Uh, it does get somewhat close in the region here where it's gravel. Um, it's that retaining wall that is currently subject to failure. It's uh, um, of uh, the board members. Did you have a chance to visit the site? Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So do you right own now? the property? Unfortunately, no. Oh, interesting. We're going to be making like a sixty-five thousand dollar investment in property we don't own. May I ask a, a question regarding uh, Tough. Tough. approval yeah. uh, by the Canal Corporation? Is that is that required? I call I call this afternoon. Our engineers look at it. Canal Corp is signed off on it. Is that right? Is that right? Can, uh, Kevin Karens is the uh, 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 member within Canal Corp that's been coordinating our application. Right. Uh, there have been some comments that have been handled thus far. We haven't received a completed review from them just yet, so the permit one is still ongoing with Canal Corp. Have we got the permit from the Canal Corp? They're working on that. We've got the Pleasure. Pleasure. We got the ship approval, but they're, they're working on the Canal Corp. Anyways. What what approval does Shippo? Uh, they wrote a letter. <laughs> and their uh, effect finding letter with respect to the uh, archaeological uh, and historical resources on the property. Um, essentially, that there would be no second impact. environmental impact. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Um, yeah, ultimately, it's the uh, entire length uh, on the northwest side of the. Uh, there here, heading up towards the bridge region where the path splits. Yeah. It's that entire length that's proposed to be replaced with a uh, rockery type of cane and wall uh, made up of guillotines that you missed from Sentinels. Now is that one? Uh, Somewhere it says granite, but it doesn't look like granite. Uh, where did you say this from? Did you say, I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Did the sign, did you say where the stone is coming from? Sentinels. I, is that pronunciation of Sensenix? I'm not sure. Is there, company. Oh, is, oh. Yeah. is there a type? Yes, it's the guillotine type. No, what is, is it granite, is it limestone, is it something else? It says a construction of rockery type gravity retaining wall use of sensing guillotine boulders for approval of work to be done by well i'm i'm not yeah. i'm not familiar with the stone type that's why i'm asking yeah. this is the company where they're buying it from correct right? yes okay. i get that okay correct yeah but that's not the same thing as no, limestone or, or yeah um or granite Yes, so within the engineering report for the replacement wall, you should be able to find images that were provided to us by the supplier for that guillotine type product. These guys? Is this what you mean? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, here's what I'm asking. If it's limestone, I want to know where they're getting it because it's hard to find limestone. <laughs> uh, Sizes size like this. That the, and I, just as an aside, it does look similar to the big chunks of limestone that were used for the locks in the canal mm. in the past. We've been trying, despite the fact that this is the longest nugget for us in terms of financial cost, mm -hmm. we've been trying to go out of our way to make it as pleasant and appealing as possible. Right. For them. There's a lot of pedestrians that pass by yeah. on right. our property, mm -hmm. and uh, instead of doing it in brick or precast pavers or some sort of right. like that, or even going back to original railroad ties, which was a possibility. Uh, we decided, no, let's, let's take the right road yeah. and uh, do this in a nice way for the village. Yeah. No, I, I appreciate the stone. And in, in my work life, I, on several occasions, hunted for limestone to replace existing limestone in a building or, or a bridge or something like that. Can't find it. It's because what was all what was used along the Erie Canal is all out of the Niagara Scarp. It's all nice limestone. 
uh, the escarpment, but nobody's quarrying it now. And the quarries that are quarrying it, uh, that are quarrying, quarrying similar limestone, crush it up for gravel. <laughs> yeah, so can I just, um, I'm a geologist by background, so guillotine refers to the blocks, that's uh, a, the cut of the stone, not yeah, the stone. Yeah, there is a range of dimensions with respect to height, width, and length, length right. being, say, 30 to 48 inches. Um, and it says here under proposed materials, uh, any granite boulder. Okay. A lot of times, lay people would call every rock granite. So I don't know, but I'm assuming that this is an engineering thing that somebody, it, that it's actually a granite granite, which is a rock type. It's not a limestone granite. Which is fine. I mean, it's, it's more actually. More, Lime, granite is more durable. More durable, yeah. Fence replacement. Sorry. You can do a fence replacement? Yeah, we do the fence replacement keeping with the current fence. Okay. So uh, same height, same everything like that, replacing yeah. kind. Yeah. Okay. Again, we're trying to make it squeeze on. Yeah. And would that fence height elevate at all? Are you guys going to build that up or are you going to leave no, it low so you can still have a sight line? No, I think the fence height is about the same height. Nice. It's a perfect height, actually, if you're standing. You're sitting up. In the patio. So you can't see anybody, but you can see the canal? You can see the canal. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be an ideal height. Well, I I applaud your yeah. effort and expense. Yeah, it's a beautiful home. <laughs> at at Thank this you. Uh, uh, repair. <laughs> I appreciate that. I mean, yeah. it's, uh, you know, it's, oh, it's, it's a jewel. We want to keep it that way. It is. We have a house yeah. that's. You know, we love and we want to make sure we know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any other questions? Have, have we? Are you the one that did the fence uh, for your neighbor? Jeff, what? No. It's the same style, isn't it? Yes, he made sure it's the same style. Yeah. Jeff? Mm -hmm. If Canal Corporation approval, final approval is required, and it's not yet obtained. Or can we make a decision? Mm -hmm. Pending. Yeah, it's only village boards, other village boards who go before you that if they're not done, you can't make a decision. Well, I wouldn't want to approve something on Canal Corporation property and then have them say, you didn't have the authority to do that. I'm not worried about the boards. I'm worried about the Canal Corporation. We have the authority to do that. Okay. Whether or not, I mean, I'm just obviously, looking out for the board. Obviously, they can has got to do this, but they're not going anywhere without the Canal Corporation approval. So, just the other thing that it's located in our village and it's an architectural feature, so we have jurisdiction and we have the ability to approve it, provided there are no other village boards that need to approve it. Mm -hmm. And our approval may, may be worth nothing. If, Canal yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. I, I just wanted to yeah. be sure we were Appreciate not it. stepping outside our no. The other uh, thing we're trying to do is, is area of authority uh, is to get this done right as soon as possible because if we can get it done before the heat of the summer where the pedestrian traffic really mm -hmm. increases, yeah. I mean, that would be to everyone's mm -hmm. benefit. So mm -hmm. we will try to press that point to the Canal Corporation that moves everyone to get this done easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, is it actually going to block the path you're going to have to? No, the Canal Corporation, they, they won't let us block the path. It would be very it would be advantageous to us and probably reduce the cost. But uh, no, we'll have to get the path open during the construction. Yes. So there's that sort of that full detail that's right on the bottom of our sheet C2 drawn during that restriction of the path that would be kept in mind. I see. Well, I'll make a motion so, to approve. Before you do that, I, I was curious about the staircase here. Is that also going to be in kind with the wood block and then pavers? So that's stage two when we can save our pennies and afford to do that for it. <laughs> but for right now, that's what we got. Got it. All right, I'll make a motion to approve the application as presented. Contingent. Contingent. Well, no. it's not a contingent. It's not contingent about the canal. No, I mean, it's we're approved within our village. Yeah. We're approving the architectural. I mean, it is an approval. So the last year, and 
That's good, you know, if it takes that long, it's a long time, right? It'll still be in place. Do we need a copy of the permit once they do? No, I don't think so because this is completely independent. Yeah, this is, has nothing to do with our board or our We're town. We're just the design the architectural. Like it, this board is oh, I meant I moved to LHI, but yeah. <laughs> um, Member Sarah? Yes. Member Olson? Yes. Member Torres? Yes. Member Dabrowski? Aye. Motion passes. So for the record, I well, thank you again. Thank you. This, yeah, this, thank you. This is a wait. We have. Somebody has a question. So, for the record, I noticed there was a uh, part one of a seeker form in there, but the work of this board is uh, type two for seeker. Did you so, put that in the motion? No, it's okay. a state saying that the record okay. that's why the board didn't do the seeker. Okay. Um, so, we're Sounds good. Great, thank you, Hall. Finding the facts. It's a real mitzvah. <laughs> yeah. Finding the facts so that it improves the existing property. It's in accordance with our village guidelines. The material proposed is appropriate for the canal setting, historic canal setting. Thank you. Thank you. And has no lasting effect on the resource. <clears throat> No negative impact on the historic resource. It's, uh, we'll do four Courtney Circle. Alexander, do you have that? Yes, I, did. yeah. I didn't have that letter in my packet. No, there was that. I have, I need extra comment in case someone said that. So. <laughs> I, I'd be curious. Anybody else want to read this? Yeah, I'll take no, it. Can I have this? Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good to see you again. Good to see you, Jane. Tell us a little bit about what you're looking to get us. I am hoping to get permission to replace the six from the original windows on my post war house over on Courtney Circle. Um, I was last in front of this for March 8, 2021, when we did our rear addition. And I put the exact same windows that I'm asking for permission to install on the home then, and I was approved. And the windows that we put in were on the rear and the side of our home. And I had to come before the board and we talked about it because you could see these from the rear side of Courtney Circle. So we had a lot of discussion about it. So I'm just hoping to get the six remaining original windows to match the ones that I put in in 2021. And they are wood interior, exterior fiberglass. They're Marvin Elevates. It's a fantastic product. Our current windows have um, seen better days. They're no longer functional and useful, and they have no insular value. So I'm hoping that we can get permission just to replace these out. I don't have any questions. Anybody else have any questions? Very straightforward when uh, you have a note from Blake Held. Uh, the only thing that was on there, it says uh, 13 Maplewood Avenue, and then it says 12 Austin Park. I was just, just kind of confused about that. I don't even know. Is that, that just from right. his? He's, he's labeling the photos, I think, and it got unformatted. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so you put some yeah. And then this, okay. I think that just, that was my only question. Like, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. He probably wrote it the same day to the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or used the same format. Yeah. Yeah, but he's got the pictures. Yeah. What is the exterior of material again, Meg? Maggie? Cedar. Cedar. Yeah. Interior cedar. Oh, I meant the no, window. Windows. Windows. Oh, window is fiberglass. Exterior fiberglass. Clad with fiberglass. Wood clad. Maybe the Marvin elevated to 19 products. Yep. Any questions? Good. Making a motion to approve the application as presented. Second. Second. Member Drosky? Aye. Member Torres? Aye. Member Sarah? Aye. Member Olson? Yes. Motion passes. Well, no, wait a minute. This is... Did you know that this house was designed by Stevens and Burton? I don't know who Stevens, I was looking at it, but I saw the packet. I don't know. Is Did I bring an extra copy of the Little Red Book here? Did they do my whole neighborhood? They they've done they did several houses in the neighborhood. There are, there are a few architect designed houses in that neighborhood. Huh. The one that had the fire. Yeah. 
architecture okay. design. There's I think about four models in my whole neighborhood, so I'm not sure if they were all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> my dad says hello to all. My dad's going. Oh, we knew I was coming today, so we wanted to oh, say nice. hello. Oh, nice. Mike He would have been our fifth yeah. if he didn't uh, <laughs> resign. <laughs> Oh, he misses you all. I know. <laughs> he misses that too. Let me see. There's a lot of sweat. So Stevens and Burton uh, did the Metropolitan Life Insurance Building, Sibley Building, 550 Main Street East, Covenant, oh, Convent, sorry, St. Jerome's Church. Married Student Housing that would, uh, at Roberts Wesleyan. Mm -hmm. And then, are you familiar with this book? No. Is it St. Jerome's Church in East Rochester? Pardon me? St. Jerome's Church in East Rochester? Uh, does not say that. Um, architects, Architecture and Architects of Rochester, New York, Carl Stern. Carl, sir. Carl Schmidt. Um, it, it lists, it's got some general information first, but it lists the architects separately, and uh, then firms, what their work was. I'll have to get a copy. Thank you, Paul. I'll much. tell you Thank what. You. Thank you for your time. Uh, let me know if you, don't, if you don't find one, and I'll put it in my will that you can hear my Because <laughs> <laughs> nobody in my family wants it afterwards. <laughs> 43 State Street. I want to know what I'm going to get out of your will. <laughs> <laughs> you got any lights for me? I'll give you my, <laughs> I'll give you my <laughs> husband if you can find uh, your lights. Sorry, they call for your address earlier. You didn't say anything. They called one gasket? No, we're together. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know what you 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 Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Tell us a little bit about your uh, application. So we own 43 State Street, and we'd like to put a light on the front for safety reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Interesting that there wasn't one there already. Yeah, there was. I mean, houses on both sides of us has one, have one. I like them. Yeah. So uh, my question is, what is your preference? Because you said more over the top or on the left. Personally, if you want it on the side, I feel like it would just be. More appropriate to have two. Yeah, I had the same thought. If you put them on the side, I would I'm disagree decided. with that. I would disagree <laughs> with that too. Really? We went yeah. to the village and we saw up above. We saw two and we saw one. Yeah. And what I wanted to do, and I'm open to, it, was to give it to our contractor and say, which is the easier. I think yeah. above is the easier one. Yeah. Um, my my comment was going to be uh, almost like a dealer's choice, and then also what's easier. Um, and then work it into the motion on where it's mounted as far as height and relative location to the door and to the overhang. So those are my only comments. It's, I guess, so so we can, sure. I think you, 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 we can you approve pick. either. Yeah, you, you have to tell us yeah. what you want. You yeah. can't just arbitrarily say whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming we went above. I think above. My wife is uh, yeah. making the emotion above. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have yeah. questions about the style. The style seems very nice. Yeah, I like those a lot. Yeah. Super nice. That's what everyone else had. Yeah, I like the glass, the bubble glass. Yeah. Um, so if you'd like it uh, over top, any other questions? Well, I mean, if the contractor says he can't do it on top and he wants to do it on the side, do we want to make him come back or can we just approve it under one? Great point. Our goal is to get the time to be able to work. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, think that would be the most logical. Either location. Yeah. Either, either location proposed. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, is this, is this like he's a circle there? No, he's got kind of the side. He's got this very nice. We've sent people home for showing us drawings like that, by the way. It, it, what? Oh, what about these measurements? It's Come on, he's got all the numbers. It's if you did if you didn't this, you would have been sent home. It's <laughs> labeled Ginny with numbers. I don't, I don't care. Why? He doesn't have to roll his eyes. <laughs> Seriously, we've sent a lot of people home over drawings like that. 
without drawings like that. I'm glad that we did <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> yes. I'm uncomfortable with both locations. Yeah. Yeah. I am as well. Precise on the locations. I just didn't know if anybody else Yeah, we usually count out what clabbered uh, or a height or center. I'm hoping the, above the door would be centered. Yeah. And I'm hoping to what clapboard. It, it looks one below where the eave ends. And yeah. Look at the pictures up. We're aligned. Okay. Fair. Here. Well, it looks like, are you talking about? Yellow black dot? Yes, but it looks like it's two, the second clip is I low. Those measurements <laughs> accurate, so. Someone's giving me credit for something, but I'm, I'm fine with that. Let me just show my boss. One, one <laughs> below where it ends, Jenny. So it ends with still in there, one below. Like above first. Proving where, if we don't do it above, Oh. Yeah. I, Can we describe this, it as one This is the one it ends on. Yeah, There's an open one. Below. one. No, and then two. One, one below would be here. Two below. Two below. One it ends on, am I in two below? I think it's two below. Two okay. below. Can, can I loan you my glasses? Yeah. I would say this is not as presented on the application. Yeah, it's two below. Can we really be that descriptive about people's? We have the best. Really? Yeah, pretty much, that's kind of the range where it was when yeah. we went through the neighborhood. Now we kind of have to. It's kind of clear from, the, you know, that they're, they're, you know, not going to put it like at waist height or something. That's hilarious. You have to, <laughs> you have you to, have to have yeah. an accurate yeah. physical record for every single application because if you don't, then somebody with a big project is going to come in with a drawing like that mm -hmm. and say, well, you let, you let this yeah. guy put his lights on, and that was the only thing they had. It's consistency, yeah. it's everybody has to be exactly this, every applicant has to be treated yeah. the same, and you can't. Yeah, you can't, you, you have, have to call it off. any other way. So or else is it you're being arbitrary and capricious. Is it fair to say that you are centering it on that 16 inches? What do you mean by 16 inches? So that it looks from the, uh, from the molding to the end of the eave, it, it says it's 16 inches. I'm not sure who, I did not do these measurements. But we, we need to nail it down. You could no. say it's centered between, centered, yeah. I'm fine between, with that. The, between the door in the trim, eave. the door casing, and the bottom of the rake board. Right the board, yeah. this board, I'm because vertical is the rake board. The, the only question I have is, if I'm looking at this, this dot looks like it's between two clapboards, and I'm not sure. No, I think it's on the second. I it's on the second? Yeah, okay. Hand handed circle. Okay, so then it's on the second even space between yep. the end of the wood of the door jam and the roof line. Correct. And again, that's if, for whatever reason, that just makes more sense. Yep. Yeah, we just want to make sure. And then if it's on top, it'll be centered. Yep. Completely centered vertically and horizontally? Yes. Perfect. The only question I have. You open that door. I mean, I don't know. The only question I have with that is the clearance for the door too. I, well, the door opens in, so that's not. An issue. You should be fine. I mean, yeah. This is uh, what ten inches. You got twenty-three up above the door. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Twenty-three. Twenty-three, not including the molding, apparently. Yeah, you'll be good. So, uh, motion to approve, conditional, as the applicant preference would be above the door, centered, uh, but also conditionally approved if that is not viable on the left side, second clabbered from the eave, centered. Got it. I'll second that motion. Can I make a point of clarification? Yep. Because I just want to make sure. When I say centered above the door, I'm talking in this range. I just want to make sure you're not thinking centered above the door. No, we are. Well, yeah, that's why right. right. I'm asking about both vertically and horizontally. Like, that's why. Well, no, because the thing. But it's only a little bit. I originally was thinking when we said centered, it was going to be so here. Down. When Don't you say centered, are we talking you're, about the, the you're actual You're saying mounting centered mounting on the on the clapboard. How's yes. It? Yeah. How tall you, is sure. how tall is the fixed can it fit? Yeah. So yeah, you're centering it between there and there, yeah. not that. Yeah, okay. as long as we get. Yeah. I just want to. Yeah, I, I, that, I, I, that will go in the middle. Stylistically, that was better. Yeah, I, I wasn't even thinking about that. I'm fine with that. Supporting annually a certificate of appropriateness that we have them. Yeah, give to our contractor. Okay, perfect. Um, Member Zara? Yes. 
Member Torres? Yes. Member Dabrowski? Yes. Member Olson? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you very much. My <laughs> pleasure. One Gaskin. Not here. Got to find the facts. Oh, finding the fact. Um, improves the usability of the historic resource without any permanent damage. According to the design guidelines yeah. for uh, material and location. No, I'm trying to figure out the so. Okay, they're not. It's very confusing. Let me, let me help you. you know no, kidding. <laughs> you know what? Remember it when I asked about the whole side? Everyone's like, yeah, let's do it. It sounds like it's double sided. No, 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 it's fine. I'm just trying to. I've got, no, I've gotten that it's double sided. What I'm trying to figure out is if I got multiple copies of the same thing. Oh. Okay. I'm looking at the date. Um, let me get the message about the creature. Uh, is there a procedural issue, or can they just represent it? Oh, no, no, it's not procedural. We can't just vote for it. We can't decide it without them. Um, it was one Gaskin that told me they were coming at 6 o'clock, not 43. Mm. So, so they, I, knew there was they knew there was a meeting. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't come. I told them they can join online, but well, they didn't Well, we still got to go through minutes, and then... If they show up, they show well, up. Before we go to minutes, um, as a member item, I, I was just curious, and it might be outside of our purview, but our blue sheets were last referenced 20 years ago. Is there a process to have those re-reviewed, photographed? Is that something we would need to initiate, or is that the board? Those, is it already? Those, those documents have been incorporated. The, the information on those documents has been uh, recorded in the National Register nomination because this was all all those blue forms were done in preparation for a National Register district listing. Right, 76, but then they also went back and re-photographed things in 2004. Yep. So I'm just wondering if we need to start to consider re- Re-photographing? Exactly. Yes, Steve. I probably have 98% of every home in this. These, these so two are exactly. I re photographed in the April, uh, in the spring of 21. Okay. I have a folder file with every, pretty much every house in the village. So that when people go, it was always here, I can go. No. Yeah. What? So is that something we need to formally enter into the historic record? It, 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 any. What do you want to do? I just feel like we're looking at you know reference photos from 20 years ago. That it might just help to have the updated reference photos. Well, we were supposed to go look at the buildings. No, but and, but, but you know, not for now, but for five years from now, for 10 years from now. Like you know that that seems to be something that should be an ongoing thing, not just kind of arbitrarily done in '76 yeah. and in 2004. Well, I think it's possible to. You'd have to go. You'd have to look at the National Register nomination forms again. I don't remember when that happened. That's that may be why there are 2004 photographs. That like read because new photographs were taken. I don't. I don't know but the answer. The, to that the, the expansion happened later than 2000. Uh, the expansion happened later than that, and the, and the destination was way earlier than that. Yeah, that I don't know why. File on the computer that in 2006 when they. Kind of redid all the, the files for the homes and, and kind of put all the information together. And is that something we would need to like allocate from a budget perspective for you to have the time to do that? I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's something to ask the board. Hey, I don't see any reason why if Steve, Steve is certified that these are pictures of. Um, all of the houses in the village, it's like whatever date they are, and you can just make it part of your, you can adopt it as part of your material. Yeah. I think, I mean, not for us today, but for the board in five years. Yeah, makes sense. Cool. Okay, let's do minutes. We're going to, since it's double sided, I'm going to guide us through this. Okay, so we're going to start with Monday, February 26th. It's three pages. Thanks, Skipper. 
It's three pages Monday, yes. February 26th? Yes. One okay. I, I have one, two, you have two, and then and then I have, this is also February 26th, I have one and two. It starts with my locus, ends with five state street. Virginia has two copies of that. I have two copies of that page. I know I'm a little thick tonight, but I'm not. No, that's all right. That's why we're doing this organized. I I am missing. This one next to the um, one and two. baseball field. Oh, okay, Carolina. Here you go. I'm missing one. This is one and two. Okay. And then so this Virginia, one I have find one, one that says three. No. Two. Yep. Hold that right there. This is three, but it's April fifteenth. Okay. This Put it is over two, the right. April fifteenth. I'm doing that. But I have I have, a, I have a two and a I have a one and a four. <laughs> That's why I put this that is, one over to the right the also. This is the 29th. Fifteenth, fifteenth. We need a. Um, Do you want to just all of the ones on the packet version on the computer? I mean, the I'll share. Is on top I can of share. Yes, yeah, you could you could re review this if you want to. This is what we're reviewing right here. One, two, and three of February twenty sixth. I reviewed. I personally don't have any issues with this one. I'll second that. Um, member Saro? Yes. Uh, member Olson? Yes. Member Dabrowski? Yes. And then um, Member Torres, you want to abstain? Uh, yeah, I wasn't there. Thank you for that. Member Torres? <laughs> abstain? Abstain. Okay. Motion passes. Okay. The next one we're going to is Monday, April 15th. Uh, it is one page, two page, three and four page. Oh, no, wait a minute. Here I go. Yep. I have one. No, this is three, but this is for the front. Okay, one. Yep, one. Two. two then flip it. Three. Three, and then and you the, the four, four is right. This is it. Okay. okay. Got it. Thanks. Okay, so okay, I had an issue on 10 South Street, the shed. The finding is a fax. It says meets the design guidelines for signs. This might have been a copy paste or a, a wrong um, entry, but we need to Sheds, fix the right. Yeah, he wanted I don't know what it is, he, it's, but it's but it's a finding of facts or, or incorrect. It's right, a science. Right. So it should be sheds. Okay. Yeah, that's the only. Okay. Anybody else? No. Nope. Oh, so are we missing the findings of facts for 31 Main Street yeah, and door? So. But no, we tabled that. It was a motion yeah, to table, so we didn't need to. The next okay, thank you. Yeah. We tabled that, so we didn't need okay. findings of facts. Okay. So then it appears on the 29th. Now the let's. Special meetings. Yeah. Henderson's not on their way. Okay, great. Okay. So let's make a motion to approve uh, Monday, April 15th. The minutes with the stated changes. Second. Uh, member Dabrowski? Yes. Member Torres? Yes. Member Olson? Yes. Member Sarah? Yes. Motion passes. Okay, and then for the third one, we have the Village of Pittsburgh Historic Preservation Board special meeting of Monday, April 29th. Of which the four of us were present. Oh, Carolina, you were absent. I'm sorry. Um, so you're actually, staying. Oh yeah, no, we do have enough to vote for. Well, three yeah. of us can vote. Yeah. And this is just a one-page yep. special meeting. Yep. Yep. Got it. Um, and I didn't see anything wrong. Motion with it. to accept the minutes. Second. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. so Member Nebraska. Yes. Member Sarah. Yes. Member Torres. 
Abstain. Member Olson? Yes. Motion passed. Um, motion to adjourn the meeting for five minutes. Oh. Um, we don't need a motion to adjourn okay. for five minutes, do we? Okay. I'll second your motion for five minutes adjournment. <laughs> Member Sarah? I'm sorry. What are we voting on? The other applicant's I, on the way. I know, but we don't need a motion <laughs> to wait. That's what we, I don't said. Need to, we don't need everything we're going to chit chat about for the next five minutes to be on the record. <laughs> That's exactly right. Yes. I'm not saying anything. You vote now. I second that. Oh, it was our decision. Yeah, it was yes. <laughs> I'm going to keep my mouth shut. All the way around. You need to vote. Um, yes. Motion, yes, no, absolutely. All right, okay. <laughs> yes. Member Torres? Yes. Member Dabrowski? Yes. Member Olson? Yes. Motion passes.
I like the door. All right, so I'll make a, are you ready, Alexandra? I am. All right, I'll make a motion to reopen the meeting. Second. Second. Oh, you should have been tied in. <laughs> so. <laughs> Member Sarah? She wants to Yes. Member Olson? Yes. Member Torres? Yes. Member Zabrowski? Aye. Motion passes. Debbie, are you gonna, what material is the door? Is it wood? Steel. Steel. Very good. Is it gonna stay this color? Um, the color is almost identical to what our house is, however. That's what I thought, looking at can just um, see a peek there. We've got to paint our house and next yeah. year anyway, so I would match it. Well, the other, <clears throat> the other thing I'm thinking, looking at the photograph is that, um, this is really nice tuck pointing on the on the masonry um, of the garage and the mortar. It looks like the door is pretty close to the color of the mortar. It's it matches beautifully, surprisingly yeah. enough. So so in my opinion, um, it's a good color. Yes. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't paint it something else. <laughs> No, I would paint the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To but, match the door next year, mm -hmm. or, okay. or keep it the same. I don't, I don't know. It depends. Not on our yeah. yeah. So that, that's all up to you. Yeah. That's okay. But I also think that the even if you paint the house and even if you paint the the wall above the garage door, because the door is so close to the color of the mortar, mm -hmm. I wouldn't. I don't think I would paint the door. Oh, we'll never paint the door. Yeah. No. Okay. My only question was a reason for a new door, and I was told that you were given it, or? Yeah, um, or you... Jeffrey Fires remorse. Well, I did, five years ago. Yeah. We, we came before you guys, not you. Um, I was it was nice to see you. <laughs> but anyway, it, was um, my, it, was just, it just was one of those things that was a bad decision. Yeah. And um, so this became an opportunity for us to acquire this door, and surprisingly, it was perfect because our house is a carriage house. Yeah. And this is called a carriage door. Mm -hmm. And it was what I always wanted, but the price was out of our range you know, at the time. Well, well. Yeah. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's, yeah. Looks, it will, it's looks more, nice. it's way more appropriate for the building than, than the other one. Yes. Yeah. It has nothing to do with the approval, but I think, is, it, is that, well, I guess it could, but is that hardware or is that, like, the, are those handles, are those physical handles? I think so, yeah. There is hardware. Yeah. Does, yeah. Is but it, it a, still is like a, is it an overhead door? door? An overhead it's, door, yes. right? Yeah. It's yeah. just made to look like. Yeah. It's just, uh, yes. Yeah. It's for looks. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, especially yes. yeah, because you got the handle on the bottom too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's for looks, not function. Very nice. Any other questions? No. Motion to accept the application as presented. A second. Member Torres? Yes. Member Grabowski? Aye. Member Sarah? Yes. Member Olson? Yes. Motion passes. Yay, thank you so much. My dream has come true. Funny the fact is that I <laughs> you rushed being all the way down here in time. Yeah, it was worth it. With a design that is more fitting yes. with the house. Yes. To our guidelines. And with that, I motion close the meeting. Thank Thanks. you Second. so much for staying longer. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your call. Um, you guys have been amazing from day one. Oh, my name. Yes. Member Torres? Aye. Member Sarah? Yes. Member Olson? Yes. Motion passed. Thank you all for staying here. Can I make it?